white metal lesions are very common, especially in the elderly. And uh, the main risk uh, factor appears to be hypertension. Now, of course, white metal lesions can be found in a number of neurological diseases, such as, say, multiple sclerosis or infections. But in general, in the elderly, uh, most white matter lesions are of vascular origin. And this has been shown not just by epidemiological studies, but also by uh, several really quite um, uh, remarkable MRI longitudinal studies where uh, people with white matter disease have um, undergone uh, frequent monthly MRI scans, which show that uh, these lesions grow by what appear to be acute strokes on DWI, very often silent or asymptomatic. And these lesions then uh, tend either to become uh, lacoons, white matter uh, disease, or sometimes disappear. And uh, this may be because uh, our resolution of the MRI follow-up is not good enough. But nevertheless, these are very, it's very prevalent, uh, especially uh, we find in Asians. Uh, and they have consequences. We know that white matter lesions are associated with increased risk of not just further stroke, but also a dementia and death. Well, firstly, there's the epidemiological evidence linking hypertension with white matter lesions. And then secondly, we do have a number of clinical trials uh, involving blood pressure lowering, which have suggested that uh, white matter lesions uh, lesion load can be reduced by blood pressure treatment. In particular, there has been the PROGRESS trial, uh, which was done in the last century, uh, which did show that there was a reduction in white matter lesions. And uh, more recently, the SPRINT uh, trial, which is a very large trial, looking at uh, lowering the blood pressure target from the traditional 140 systolic to 120 systolic, uh, which not only showed um, much better uh, cardiovascular outcomes, but also uh, suggested that there may be uh, cognitive benefits and that these cognitive benefits in a small MRI sub-study uh, suggested that it may be due to reduction of white matter lesion uh, burden. I don't want to say that everybody should be put on a drug. Yeah, I think that, of course, there are uh, a variety of ways to uh, address treatment of uh, blood pressure. And uh, we know, for example, in recent studies that even the use of salt substitutes or re reducing the amount of salt we eat can reduce your blood pressure. But in general, people with hypertension, established hypertension will usually need medications and that the uh, treatment intensity is what will really drive the reduction in white matter lesions and hopefully uh, the clinical consequences. Now, of course, um, other trials are in progress. And uh, I think it's fair to say that uh, we already have a, a confirmatory evidence that uh, lowering the blood pressure below the 140 uh, uh, millimeter target is beneficial. There's been a recent trial from China suggesting this. They chose a target of 130. And there are also trials which are focusing on MRI as an outcome measure in these trials. So I think that the evidence will accumulate and we'll get much better at deciding which patients should be treated and uh, to what extent.